Hello, guys and girls. It is I, it's Aaron Halo of um, 18 here. And today I'm gonna do a video about uh, the movie Passengers that I saw yesterday with my father. And I gave this movie a 10 out of 10. And so did my father. I, I really liked the movie. It was a pretty fun movie. I really enjoyed it. It was a a, a lot of fun. And I gave a long review, and it said, I saw the movie called Passengers yesterday, and I really liked it. I gave it 10 out of 10, and so did my dad. The story was pretty good. It was about a routine journey through space to a new home, two passengers, sleeping in suspended animation are awakened 90 years too early when their ship malfunctions as Jim and Aurora face living the rest of their lives on board with every luxury they could ask for. They begin to fall for each other, unable to deny their intense attraction until they discover the ship is in grave danger with the lives of 5,000 sleeping passengers at stake. Only Jim and Aurora can save them all. And Jennifer, and Jennifer Lawrence was hot in the movie. Andy Garcia and Lawrence Fishburne was in the movie. And so was Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt was the star. He woke up first. And then we apparently uh, some asteroid hit the ship and went through all the way to the reactor room or something like that and it was destroying the ship and uh then Chris Pratt woke up 90 years earlier first and then he was the one that was trying to decide whether or not he was going to wake her up and eventually he did and uh, then, he, then he lied to her then he lied to her about it for so long And my friend Michael Johnson said, I'll probably have to watch it. That sounds pretty good. And then Jocelyn Dunlap said, Oh, wow. Sounds interesting. Cool. It has a romantic part. Thank you. I will let you know when I watch it. And Jean McQuaid said, That sounds amazing. I'll have to try and watch it when I get some free... Uh, time. And then he, he also said, I hope you have, you, you have been doing good, uh, brother. I miss you, man. Wish I had more time to kick it with. That's what he said. And then Andrew, cousin Andrew's girlfriend, Lauren, said, wow, I saw the previews for that movie. It was always interested in seeing it. I absolutely have to see it now. I would agree. Jennifer Lawrence is very beautiful. She, uh, did a lower con smile on your face? Even my friend Grant said, I would love to see it. That sounds so good, especially since you rated it a 10 out of 10. He's coming over tonight after dinner. Is it, then I said, yes, that is correct. And then today at 2 or 9 p.m., I said, are you still coming over? And he said, yeah, I was planning on coming after dinner. Is that okay? And then I said, yes. But mostly I'm doing a review on the movie, not about the text I get. Uh, I really did enjoy it. Like, the movie it was a pretty good movie. And they grew like trees and plants inside the movie, uh, stuff like that. And it had a Magic Dragon song in the credits uh, after the movie. Which I... Which they're... they're, they're this way? And, and, and I'm doing a... I do pretty good movie reviews, don't I, guys and girls? I, I think my dad even likes my reviews on movies. And uh, yeah, they had like three sex scenes in this movie. And it also had uh, no bad language in it at all. 
you know, the movie's kind of intense uh, a little bit there, too. There was still a good movie, though. I really enjoyed it. I'm a big sci-fi uh, fan. I really like those kind of movies. And, uh, it's a Sony movie. They showed a bunch of Sony trailers. They showed the new Blade Runner 2049 trailer. And they also showed the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer as well. And another one called uh, Life. With Ryan Reynolds and, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, in it. Uh, kind of a horror element, uh, too, with an uh, organism that takes over a shipping. I guess makes people crazy. I don't know. That uh, was kind of weird. Uh, but the movie Life is kind of weird. I, I think it's radar, uh, though. I, I'll, I'll still be there. I'll be in my 30s and I still won't be able to watch R-rated uh, movies. And parents are just too strict on me. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're, they're too strict on me. But mostly, I like doing movies. I mean, my, my movie... I'll probably do more movie reviews on the other upcoming movies that, that I see. I'm not really excited about Pirates of the Caribbean, though. I mean, I'm kind of burned out on that franchise. Uh, I guess, I don't know. And, uh, some of these series, they just do them too long. They go on uh, way too long. I don't like when, when a movie series goes on way too long. I don't know. Well, of course, they'll, they'll probably still do them because they make a bowl of money, I guess. It's like the Fast and the Furious movies. And they'll make one every two years, which is absolutely ridiculous, but, yeah. I mean, all the actors are, are going to get old eventually since they keep doing it. And, uh, I hope if my reading is just too old, you should stop. These actors, when they get old in their 70s or 80s or 90s, they need to stop making movies. It's just too old for them. They're not really fun when they're too old because they don't move around that well anymore. I mean, Harrison Ford still does good movies, but he's getting a little old, uh, don't you think? And, uh, I mean, I don't know why they had to do a sequel 30 years later to Play Runner, which is kind of silly. Uh, and, uh, Ryan Gosling's in it as well. It'll probably be a good movie, though. And, uh, yeah. But uh, Passengers was like a futuristic uh, movie. They had a, a, they were on the ship that from it was from Earth, and they had to go to this other solar system with Elmstead too. And it takes 120 years to get there. But something went wrong with the ship, and an asteroid hit it, and woke up one of the passengers. The mechanic named Jim. And uh, of course the space station had like like a mall uh, thing in it. It was a pretty big uh, ship uh, actually. And they had a, lot of, a ton of robots and a ton of restaurants and with all kinds of different foods and stuff. And the robots speak all kinds of languages and stuff. And the ship mostly had like scientists and, and mechanics and engineers and builders and uh, all people like that. Too. They had to go to this empty planet and repopulate it because I guess their their Earth is our Earth is too populated or over, overly populated in that uh, movie franchise. I mean that movie. I don't know if they'll do sequels or anything. Because they say they're ship up. And then before the, at the end of the movie, they showed 80 year, 88 years later, I guess they uh, died. Which is pretty cool, uh, I guess. I mean, it's a, it's a good movie. 
And this movie came out on December 21st. Uh, actually, I don't know if you'll be able to go see it. It might be out of the theater, but I don't know. Hey, go see it right away before it's out of the theater. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a huge sci-fi fan. I'm sure my friend Brandon with the uh, uh likes it. Uh, I bet he, he'll, he'll like it. Then, yeah, Jennifer Lawrence was, was pretty attractive in the movie, I guess. They, they showed a, a swimming pool uh, scene, and they have a basketball court in this uh, station, and it's a ship. I don't remember the name of the ship, but, uh, yeah. It was a pretty cool-looking uh, ship. Okay, kind of helix, uh, some... Same one, I guess. It's a, it was a pretty badass movie. I, I really uh, would recommend everyone. I didn't finish re reading my review on the text. Let me do that. Uh, I would highly recommend you to see this movie. And it was a lot of fun to watch. Even my dad enjoyed the movie. The ship had 5,000 sleeping passengers and 258 sleeping crew members. You know, all, all of these pods that made up these hyper, these hyper pods that put them to sleep and stuff. I guess 120 years earlier, they were putting these pods to go to sleep. And they showed uh, Chris Pratt uh, naked a couple times in the movie. They showed his butt uh, twice in the movie. I, 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 yeah. And he grew like a, a long hair and, and a beard. He looked like uh, Tom Hanks from Castaway with the, the long hair and the beard. It was kind of like a. Louis was kind of like Castaway. He was on our ship for like. He by himself for like a year or two years, I, I guess. And, and then the, they uh, married each other uh, eventually. They had like a wedding ring and stuff. And uh, the, the robot spoiled the, the beans about him uh, hiding the truth about waking her, her up. And the, the robot part was pretty good. The bartender's name was Arthur, and he was a robot, an android. But his his bottom part, his torso, on the bottom side, his legs were like metal. A robot leg that, on a slight, it was a slider, and slid back and forth uh, in there. And even the robot got a little destroyed. It. They repaired it, uh, too, in the movie. Well, they had like this dancing video game machine and you know, like virtual reality and stuff it was pretty cool uh, and stuff I I really did enjoy the movie you know, it was fun to watch you know I mean every every movie I've seen so far this year and last year have been really good I really enjoyed the movies uh, lately and I gotta keep doing these reviews on movies that I really enjoy and I don't and, uh, yeah, and the, and you figure out how to grow a tree inside the, the space station. And stuff, there was one scene where they showed grass and trees and birds. I don't know how plants grow inside uh, spaceships or anything, but I guess that's just how the sci-fi movies go. They show that anything is possible. And I, I, sure I like how they show you how... how Russia's life uh, uh, is, I guess, uh, I mean, I mean, they, they, that was pretty good, but uh, Chris Pratt is a really good actor, I really like Chris Pratt, I think he's, he's a funny guy, it's not, he, this was kind of a serious movie, but it had some comical uh, stuff in it, it's not off a little in the movie. And stuff. I I really uh, I've always liked. I've always wanted to see this movie, so I'm happy that I eventually 
I'm happy I eventually saw. And uh, hopefully that I'll do more reviews on the other upcoming movies soon. You know, the next one will probably be the, the Great Wall or something like that. I'm looking forward to the new Matt Damon movie and the movie about uh, the Great Wall of China a dragon in ancient uh, China. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, this movie, Passengers, really go see it. I really would uh, have you see it. Go right now, just see it right now. And it's worth your while. So I gotta go uh, now. I just wanted to do a little quick review on the movie. And yeah, I spoiled the movie uh, pretty much. Andrew Garcia was in the movie. Uh, he looked kind of, kind of old. He had a long hair and a beard. He was probably the, he was the, sh- the captain of the ship. Yeah, that's, that's uh, pretty cool. I hope, they'll, I hope they'll make a sequel to this movie. I hope that, like, the sequel will be, like, them discovering the planet or something. I don't know. Checking out all the planet and stuff. But I don't think they'll have a sequel, though. I don't know. But, uh, I hope you all enjoyed my video and liked what I had to say on the review. Like I said, I gave it a 10 out of 10. It was that enjoyable. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so, please rate, comment, like, favorite, subscribe, views, thoughts, and opinions. And I hope you liked it and enjoyed it for your viewing pleasure, guys and girls. And stay tuned for more. And my favorite quote from Ghost Robo, please drink some hot chocolate. And I'll see you all later. And this is Aaron Halo 18 signing off. Goodbye. And have a God bless day. And a nice day. All right, bye.